Hey guys, welcome to Fogus Frets. Uh, this is my first tutorial video I'm going to be showing you today. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you is The Cave uh, by Mumford and Sons. Very, very good song, one of my personal favourites. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just uh, what I'll do is I'll play the first verse and the chorus for you, and then I'll, I'll show you how to play it. Okay, so we'll go to something like this. <laughs> It's empty in the valley of your heart Sun, it rises slowly as you walk Away from all the fears and all the faults you have left behind The harvest left no food for you to eat The cannibal and meat eater you see The highest in the same, I know the shame of your defeat Okay, guys. So first thing you need to look, you need to know about uh, about this song is you need to down tune your guitar. Um, so if if I'm a, if this if if you're a beginner and watching this, then I'll go through it very slowly. Uh, obviously, if you if you know what you're doing, then probably just skip along a couple of seconds. Okay. So we're going to down tune the guitar to D. Um, basically, so when you strum it now, it gives off that really really nice sort of ring. You can play chords without even like you're just pressing down one fret. So it's like. Sounds, you know, it sounds really nice. <clears throat> so, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to down tune the first string, the third string, and the sixth string, all down to all down to D. Okay, so they're all in the same sort of key. Okay, and then we're going to put the second string and the fifth string into A, and then we're going to put the last remaining string which is the 4th string, and that's going to go into F-sharp. Okay, so all in total you should turn it like this. And then for this song as well, um, to have it in the key that Mumford and the Sun's doing it, uh, we put the capo on the 2nd fret, which basically shifts up the key, um, 2 if you have it on, on the 2nd fret. Okay, so to play Mumford and the Sun's The Cave, uh, I personally do not use a guitar pick, because it's better just to use your fingers. So what we do is we're going to go to the 6th fret on the 3rd string and what we're going to do this is going to be a slide to there so we're going to slide from the 2nd, so it's going to be like this like that then we're going to go down here like this like that and it's going to be to this string here ok, put them together So you don't have to add the slide in, but it, it sounds, sounds just as good. Okay, and at the end of that, we're going to go like this. We're going to go... Okay, so that's just adding the sixth string on, on the top there. Okay, so if we play that all together... And that little bit at the end is just a three, just them three there, and then slide it down. Slide it up there, and then open. Okay, so if you could play it in real time, it would sound something like this. So that's the first half of the chorus done. The second uh, first part of the verse, sorry. The second bit of the verse, 
Um, it's just the same notes, but we're going to strum them as well. Okay, so we still do the same that bit. Okay, and then the, the, the note we're going to play is just that one there, second um, second fret, second string down, and then we're just going to strum all the notes and take it off by there. At the end, after you've done that three times on the fourth one, we're going to go down to this string again, which is where we do uh, the first half of the verse, and it's just a. <clears throat> okay, so the verse should sound like this. Okay, that's the verse. Uh, the chorus is very very simple again. Um, as, as I said before, when we put it down, when we downscale the guitar, chords are so much easier because instead of doing just shapes of whatever, you can just literally just press down on all the strings. And that literally gives you a chord. So uh, so so for this song, the chorus is like it's like this. It's, uh, Play that again slowly. I'll put I'll put the uh, the the chords in the description and I'll, I'll have them pop up on the screen as well for you to play along. Uh, so I'll play it slowly for you again. So it's like this. And that's when it goes back into the uh, the main riff that we learned at the start of the video, which is the. So yeah, thank you for watching Folgers Frets. And um, that was my first tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you found it informative. Uh, any constructive criticism, please, I'm welcome for that. Um, so hit the subscribe button and um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.